Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders are advised that this program contains images and voices of people who have died. Anguish and anger expressed on the walls of the institutions of justice that protesters feel have let them down. That was all around it when they shot her. Tragic circumstances, that young girl should never have lost her life. Why couldn't they use a taser? Why did he have to shoot her? You know, she could still be alive today. The police officer, whose identity has been suppressed, had been on trial in the Supreme Court, accused of unjustifiably killing 29-year-old JC in September 2019. The officer denied acting unlawfully and claimed he shot JC because he believed he was about to be stabbed. The jury deliberated for just over three hours before clearing him of both murder and manslaughter, prompting emotional scenes outside the courthouse. JC's family said they had been denied justice. A day after that verdict, women gathered in a mourning circle outside the Geraldton Police Station to remember the Yamaji woman. Stop this! Stop! Stop! About 80 members of the community marched down the main street of Geraldton, calling for justice. Black Lives Matter! People at this rally have described JC as a beautiful friend, mother and person. They're sad and they're angry and they want to see change to better protect Aboriginal people. We are no longer safe in this community. They say the justice system is not fair. We had no representation there for our community. What, are we not part of this community? The state government is calling for unity. I just, yeah, I obviously urge leaders right throughout our community, lead by example, focus on the opportunities to heal from this particular uh, sad and tragic situation. Police are now assessing whether the police officer will return to active duty after being stood down. Bridget Herman, ABC News.